see my slide come up? Can you put thumbs up or you see my slide come up? Okay, great, thank you. Yes. Yeah, the topic today is the art of forgiveness. <laughs> that we really need to learn the skill uh, for others who might make you feel not good and for ourselves also, that there will be some time that we are not enlightened yet and we have a mistake. And sometimes to forget oneself, that's the hardest one. Yeah, this is a quote by the Buddha in the Dhammapada, Kutaka Nikaya, though one may conquer a thousand times, a thousand men in battle, yet he indeed is the noblest victor who conquer himself. Yeah. To win over others, that's challenging, but to win over yourself, yeah, everyone has strengths and weaknesses. So the more you can uh, overcome that, that weak part, Buddha said, wow, that's the noblest victor. And yeah, not, not to win over Adam, but to win over yourself. Today, we'd like to uh, open this three aspect of forgiveness on the table. And I hope that we kind of have some discussion on that uh, during the, the Q&A part. That I see this interesting three aspects about forgive, forgiveness. Number one is forgiveness and ignorance. Number two, forgiveness and inner peace. And the last one, forgiveness and karma. And that's a bit more uh, complicated, but not too much. <laughs> you can make the link of the karmic thought that why I was called into that moment that I need to seek for forgiveness many times. Okay, let's start with number one, forgiveness and ignorance. This is also uh, the truth <laughs> that Buddha reminds us. As an elephant, in the battlefield, we stand arrow shot from bows all around. Even so, shall I endure abuse? Buddha said, there are many indeed who lack worship. <laughs> yeah, not one, not two, many. Yeah, and we're still in this challenge of the light and the darkness outside and in our own mind also. Buddha said there are many who lack virtue and they kinds of ignorance. And he recommend, recommend this is a, a person who can conquer themselves and see from above that what should be the, the good reaction to keep things go upward, not go downward. Overcome the angry by non-anger. Overcome the wicked by goodness, overcome the miser by generosity, and overcome the liar by truth. Yeah, the fire cannot put out the fire, it's the water only that can overcome the fire. I have one uh, experience that is uh, personal. <laughs> Uh, okay, before I move to that. Interesting, uh, in the last uh, few years, actually since 2018, that I moved to uh, Upper West Side, I met people from different countries in New York. And many times on the street, even in the park, I don't know them. <laughs> But they like a put the hand like this to me, like a show respect. And like a, and I can see that their face that, oh, I appreciate your work. So many times I, I get a good 
uh, knowledgeable person who know what I'm doing. And they kind of cheering up and, you know, some they not bad, but they put the thumbs up like this. Good work, good work, like <laughs> cheering up me, like a spread peace and help more people. But that's one time that I need forgiveness yeah, for some ignorant people that they don't understand. Uh, I remember I, I think I traveled to contact some people uh, at United Nations with some work. And I take a subway to uh, Grand Central. When I walk out from the Grand Central, there's a guy who shout at me. Yeah, maybe from uh, 10 meter away. The orange man, you are crazy. <laughs> we don't want you here. <laughs> shout toward me. And I'm, I'm with, with another monk, with our Nick. And I said, okay, let's walk faster. <laughs> Not toward that person, but the opposite direction. And while I'm walking, I spread loving kindness, metta to that person. Yeah, the orange man, you are crazy. We don't want you here, right? So that clearly I should forgive him. He maybe don't know <laughs> what I'm doing or uh, he looked like not in a good condition, looked like uh, in trouble, uh, not happy, not happy. So I easily forgive him and I realized, but for sure when, when you were kind of a bully, you know, kind of attack, unexpectedly, I feel like the heat come up in my body. Oh, what's that? But I have that sati, mindfulness that, oh, I should walk faster away. I should not even look back and try to explain. <laughs> Ignorant, he don't know. And that's not the right time to explain, right? So, ignorance. <laughs> yeah, we should forgive. And sometimes people, they don't understand, they don't know what we are doing. And they make a, a bias, judgment or anything out of their ignorance. And we cannot control that, right? Like Buddha said, there's so many who lacks virtue. <laughs> That's what Buddha said. Yeah, when we connect to forgiveness and karma, I will share with you more how we will direct our energy that we can experience those who lack virtue less. <laughs> we can. <laughs> Number two, forgiveness and inner peace. Yes, wow. If you learn inner peace education, <laughs> you'll be with MMI for some time. You hear this often, inner peace, inner peace. And it's like a, a universal solution for many challenges in life. So anytime that we were in trouble, forgiveness is very, very important to go back to inner peace. Many people say sometimes it's easily said than done, then do it. However, Buddha, he recommend that the more you deepen your inner peace, the more you have a wisdom to see that you should not deal with this negative stuff too long. Buddha said, wisdom spring from meditation. Without meditation, wisdom, wisdom wins. Having known these two parts of progress and decline, let a man so conduct himself that his wisdom may increase. Again, yeah, you see this many, many times that uh, in the Western world, that by the academic system or school system, 
Number one and number two is highly encouraged, but not enough for number three. Wisdom from silent mind. So you can read a lot of Buddha teaching in the book about loving kindness, about uh, compassion, sympathy, your equanimity, but without the practice, you cannot receive that wisdom from within. You know the formula, you know the theory, but when the real situation come, the inner peace is not there. It's not enough that you will choose forgiveness. Yeah. So that's why uh, I really like how uh, the CMC, also our group and many group that not just bring the Dharma and discuss, meditate first. Yeah, that, that's how Buddha come up with so many wisdom. There's no books around him under the Bodhi tree. He actually let go all those books that he learned so much as a prince. But once he get to the silent mind, all the wisdom come up. So that's reconfirm what Buddha reminds us that without meditation, wisdom win. It's like a meditation is an energy for the wisdom to work. If not, we just know the theory, but when the trouble come, we cannot let go. Yeah, we still attach to our own ideas or opinion. Yeah, I shared this story, uh, I think long time ago, and maybe it's good to get back to it. Uh, there's a, <laughs> a story about a Chinese medicine that, um, you know, unlike uh, Western medicine that have injection or like a tablet, but Chinese uh, medicine is like a, from the herb and then it become like a powder. So when we are gonna drink, yeah, it's like a tea, tea, stir and then drink the, the, the medicine. The story is uh, one person, you know, put the powder into the glass of the water and then stir the medicine. Yeah, and we can say like Mr. A and then Mr. B. <laughs> yeah, Mr. A stir and then drink. And then Mr. B <laughs> stir again also drink. It's happened that Mr. A, he like a quickly drink the medicine. And when uh, it come like almost uh, the water, in the glass start to be less and less, there's a residue. There's a, like a powder that's still left at the bottom, at the bottom of that glass, right? The second person, Mr. B, <laughs> he slowly drink. So when the water go down, he keep checking. Can you follow me? Yeah, so he can, take almost all medicine from the glass. The first one, not very mindful drinking. The second one, quite mindful. What will happen when the thing comes that, oh, there's still some medicine at the bottom part? What we normally do, <laughs> we might clean that glass or we might pour some uh, warm water into it, right? If we want to finish it. What will happen if we don't do that? We try to use our tongue <laughs> to lick it. It's hurt, <laughs> it's hurt, <laughs> right? And it doesn't look good also. That is some analogy that in life, Someone might make mistake with you. You also might make mistake. We lack mindfulness. We are not enlightened yet. So we might be drawn into the situation that there's still some residue, some powder at the end. If we, not, if we will not forgive, 
it's like we, we try to use our tongue tied to squeeze it. But if we, okay, this happened, this happened before, <laughs> we should clean the glass and move on. Then we still have our inner peace that we should not exchange our inner peace with that squeezing moment of our emotion. And can you follow that analogy? Yeah, if you can follow well, can you tie number three? Yeah, tie number three, that you can follow well that it's happened when things not perfect, when thing is not the way we plan or we expect. We should not squeeze our emotion for that. Clean the glass, move on, and understand is very common. Yeah, but we should learn from that, that how we make better next time. But we should not negatively trouble by that imperfection in life. Okay, come to the last one. Forgiveness and karma. Yeah, this one quite uh, delicate. Um, I didn't see it explained too much in uh, many uh, book written by many uh, Western Buddhist teacher. But I would like to touch on it because it's delicate that you cannot see it with your eyes. And through the psychology that we learn, um, it's a bit subtle to see it in that normal way to look at the brain is beyond the brain. What is that? Buddha awfully said, there is no coincidence. <laughs> There's no coincidence. You have trouble time, you miss troublemaker. It's not coincidence. <laughs> Things happen for a reason. Things happen for in your karmic energy, your own karmic energy will attract certain people or certain situation into your life. Yeah. No coincidence. Yeah. Good thing, bad thing happen for a reason. And it's because our own karmic energy. Yeah. Make sure, make sure, no matter what happened, if we are totally perfect, we are not here. We are in Nirvana already. <laughs> So we're not perfect yet. So there are going to be good people, bad people. Yeah. But to have less bad, make sure no matter what happened, keep your energy bright, not dark. Good time, try to keep it bright. Bad time, find a way not to be in the crowded zone. Like try to be mindful that, oh, not squeeze my tongue. Oh, not try to hurt my emotion to make it correct. Yeah, to be right, right, right all the time sometimes is headache. <laughs> so sometimes, okay, you, you can win. Yeah, you can win. I'm, I'm okay with that and I want to move on. So no matter what happened, good time, bad time, bright energy, not dark. I know it's not that simple like we say, but less, less dark as much as you can. Yeah, both uptime and downtime. Why it's so important to keep your energy in, we call it a wholesome kusala, in the wholesome zone. Good time, bad time, in the wholesome zone. Because life is so precious and we cannot let anyone, we cannot let any situation hold us back from moving forward for something good. So when anything you don't like happen, any person, forgive, let go and move on. Yeah, I like what uh, Oprah Winfrey shares about learning. <laughs> And then like uh, she said that, oh, when, when something uh, not good happened, ask the right question. <laughs> yeah, 
not not like a oh why is must happen to me why not someone else so when something not good happen I ask the right question why this thing happen what I can learn from this situation and Oprah said if you learn it not come back if you will not learn and you don't know why it's happened it come back again in another form yeah because you don't learn yeah something like that so uh, i will not say that oh we let everyone uh, do whatever they want no <laughs> we should learn from whatever happened but we should not let any negative moment hold us back in the past we learn from it we move on and choose our life yeah this is important message do not feed your energy to negative karma by holding on to certain people and certain situation yeah yeah i told you at the beginning about the ignorance that hmm, how we gonna manage our energy that less ignorant people will come to us less bad will come to us everything is energy you know like einstein said it just change form it doesn't go anywhere it just change form so when someone make trouble to you if even you don't talk to that person yeah you didn't make more trouble from that moment that you cannot forgive but if you hold that person in your mind it's like you keep that energy continue can you follow me yeah and with that unhappy moment but the, the event is done it's, it's finished but you still connect to that person to that event it's like you enhance it you increase it it come back again yeah maybe that person but another person because that's still the same energy the earlier the faster you can let go it's like thank you so much i already learned from that i want to move on and then forgive it's like you cut that negative connection with that bad karma you see it ties up very subtle if you can follow well it's time number four that if you love your life choose forgiveness not holding on yeah because the later you're gonna forgive that will prolong and that energy might call another ignorant person to you so forgive let go meditate more more and keep your energy in good attract more knowledgeable person thank for the lesson but i'm done with that and this is another aspect about karma <laughs> forgiveness is a good karma <laughs> when you can overcome your own anger or sadness or any kinds of emotion it's a good karma you like a self conquer you read what you saw it's like a physic you throw the ball soft to the wall it come back soft you throw harder to the wall it come back harder you give a forgiveness if any day you might need forgiveness from from someone else you'll be given yeah because you have that kind energy that you can let go forgiveness is a good karma give when someone need it but for sure if they keep repeating you need to teach them you need to let them know that that's not the right thing to do not just like a easily uh, forgive and don't make it better you never know you might need forgiveness also in some unexpected day so share forgiveness to someone else you might need it 
in the future also. And that is a good preparation <laughs> that you will don't have uh, a very uh, bad time when something mistake happened and you did it. And that's gonna be some uh, constructive uh, relationship or learning experience together. So today I share with you three aspects of forgiveness. Oh, a lot of ignorant people out there. <laughs> so don't take it too serious. You still have ignorance. I still have ignorance too, but I don't want to increase more ignorant by not forgive you, <laughs> right? And then inner peace, for your inner peace, let go, let go. And karma, yeah, the faster or the more skillful you can forgive, the faster, more good situation, more good people are gonna come to you. Yeah, this is not something magical, it's a physics but in uh, invisible level, yeah. Uh, I think I keep a good punctualities and we have enough time for Q&A.